All right, third time's the charm. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? It's Belton here. Uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard some of the comments you guys have been leaving on the videos recently. Uh, I know sometimes the math I'm doing is sort of just napkin math, the offhand data, whatever. And uh, I understand the propensity for people to, uh, uh, you know, question content they see on YouTube um, as being legitimate or not. Uh, for myself, I typically find that given the fact that I've done this for so long uh, and I live stream everything, it's all on VODs and I do it live without editing the videos um, as well. You know, the data I collect is based on what happens for myself. This, you know, kind of goes without saying um, it's not necessarily going to be the exact same for yourself. Uh, you know, if you were watching somebody uh, post about uh, how they bought a stock on the stock market or an option and they made X amount of money, um, you know, it would be pretty logical that you wouldn't go out and buy that stock mm -hmm. after it had gained the money that that person had posted about. I feel like this kind of goes without saying. Uh, in POE, it seems people don't uh, tend to apply the same logic, though. And so I want to make sure that we can eliminate any of that, uh, you know, that kind of gray space. And so uh, this morning I Googled how to use Excel uh, just to enter formulas and stuff. And uh, this is another one of the strategies that I kind of implement on a day-to-day -day basis to earn some passive income. Um, and one that I thought we'd turn into kind of a challenge here so we can test what our actual currency per hour is irrefutably. Uh, and so hopefully this uh, can satisfy the POE uh, auditors and actuaries out there that, um, you know, <laughs> for some reason think that uh, me and a shadowy cabal of POE elites are sitting around preying on your downfall um, while also simultaneously uh, actively uh, crashing markets I'm participating in. Um, but it make, would make sense though, because, you know, at 0 0.9 cents per view, I am caking it on these, uh, on these videos. So, um, jokes aside and sarcasm aside, uh, what we're going to be doing here, um, is actively, uh, taking the video into account, uh, into taking your criticisms or your concerns into account. Um, and hopefully that will, uh, you know, beyond reproach in that respect, uh, just as a quick side note here. Uh, one of the things, uh, you know, people were commenting on on the video I made yesterday was that uh, there was some, you know, concern for whether or not uh, the stuff I'd posted about would actually sell. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, overnight I have made roughly, uh, you know, five or six hundred divines of sales on those. Uh, in fact, in the past hour, let's see, we've got one divine, six divines, uh, 14, 24, uh, 28, uh, 32. 36, 40, 45, uh, 49, 55, uh, 104, 109, 110, 110 divines of sales in the last hour. Um, so, you know, it, it is actually coming through. I, I guess, I suppose it, it is your choice whether or not you want to, uh, uh, to try this stuff out yourself, but um, I, I do somewhat resent the implication that, you know, I'm somehow being deceiving um, or I am attempting to uh, you present falsehoods here because uh, that's not my intention. Uh, you know, perhaps at times the, the titles might be a little quote unquote, uh, you know, clickbaity, but um, you'll find that if you uh, approach it with somewhat of a rational lens that what I'm saying tends to be true, uh, demonstrable, observable, and, uh, you know, I can support it generally with data. Sometimes, again, the values might skew some way or another. Uh, that's the the nature of a market. Uh, you know, it, it is a, <laughs> it is something that is reactionary and ever-evolving. So, um, you know, the situation as I uh, engage with it will not necessarily be the same for you. Um, but if you, again, look beneath the hood a little bit, um, you'll notice that uh, what I tend to advise on is not um, uh, is, is not bad advice, whether or not the, the actual specific values are the exact same for yourself uh if, if you implement what i'm saying and you know just add it to a repertoire or a rolodex of, of, of information that you gather as you as you play the game um I, I think that most of you will find that you'll you'll tend to have better outcomes but that being said um you know uh we'll, we'll we're going to do this challenge today uh and we're doing it also live on twitch so hello to the twitch viewers um, but all of this is done with formulas. So what we're going to be doing today, uh, similar to the gems, um, with the lenses and the corrupting, as well as with the influence stuff I've been doing, the stuff I do, uh, sometimes with maps, double corrupting things, uh, you know, certain crafts, flips, whatever. I have a variety of things that I like to kind of fall back onto in terms of, uh, strategies to make currency. And this is another one of those things. 
uh, rather than sort of cherry picking this data ahead of time, making sure that it, it was going to fall to a certain range so that I could have a title that I could make somewhat, you know, uh, flashy. Uh, we didn't do any of that. Uh, instead, it's just going to be completely objective uh, out in the air. So I have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, what we've done here um, is taken all of the formulas uh, based on the current market price for these. So if you uh, take a look at the sheet, which I will link in the description below the YouTube video here, when uh, when this gets posted, um, you'll see here that frigid fossils, 360, 220, 360, 360, 1120, and 1580. That will match the amount that we have here. Uh, the price per divine, uh, so this means how many of the fossils can you get per divine. Uh, it's actually somewhat irrelevant what each one of these are. Um, and I'll explain what this strategy is in just a second. It's very simple. Uh, what you want to go for, though, is just the cheapest. You want to get as many of these as you can for the like the best uh, ratio that you can get. Uh, and, and that's all. So um, what we're going to be doing is fossil uh, reforging or fossil uh, re-rolling. Uh, that is done through harvest, and it's done using the wild uh, or sorry, the wild life force. Uh, and the whole concept of this, basically, is that the top row of fossils here, these are the most common fossils, and um, they are, you know, the cheapest fossils. So you've got jagged, dense, frigid, aberrant, scorched, metallic, and pristine. Uh, and all we're going to be doing here is basically en masse re-rolling or reforging these to try and get them to land as one of the fossils in the second, third, or fourth row. Um, and uh, in so doing, uh, we will then take the uh, fossil value that we started with um, and we will compare that to the fossil value uh, that we have at the, um, you know, at the summation or the finish of the, uh, of the challenge. Uh, on top of that, just, you know, because... Uh, one of the things, again, that is constantly brought up, and uh, to be frank, I find this comment to be somewhat asinine, but, you know, people, well, you forget about how long it takes to buy and how long it takes to sell. Um, okay, that's that's fair enough, but, uh, you know, again, stopping for five seconds while you're in the middle of crafting, as I'm doing right now, to sell something for four or five divines uh, is not a burden. Um, you know, it, it, it's, really, uh, it's really not an issue. Uh, and with respect to buying things, um, in particular, the stuff I've been mentioning as of late, uh, it, it honestly takes like two or three minutes. Um, that is not the correct value, but that's fine. Whatever, I'm, I'm, we're recording a YouTube video. That was not the right amount. Good math. Um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, when you purchase things, guys, it's, it's not very difficult. Uh, for myself, all I do, you know, in a case like this, if we're buying fossils, uh, we want to go, all right, there, fossil. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Sort by stack size. All right. This guy's got 3,300. Boom. Max done. One trade takes two minutes. All right. So, yes, there is a time element to it. But uh, what I suggest doing is batching these things uh, at once, as I've done here. Right. So, instead of buying 120 times and, and stopping and doing it in between, what you can do is, um, you know, just buy 4,000 or whatever amount that you have. Uh, with respect to the strategy we're about to employ here, uh, this is one that is going to be applicable for uh, all, um, you know, currency types, at skill levels, etc. There's absolutely no nuance to this, really. Um, all we're going to be doing here, again, we come here, change a stack of fossils into a different type. Uh, and again, if you're unfamiliar with the fossils offhand, uh, all you need to know is that you're going to go for the cheapest ones possible, which are going to be on the top row and sometimes lucent. Uh, and then you just want to re reforge them to any one of the fossils that's on the lower level there. Um, it costs 30 uh, wild life force to reforge one fossil, so a full stack size um, of, uh, of 20 will be 600 life force. Um, the value you can see here, uh, I picked up 1 million wild life force, uh, and each one of these columns is down to uh, 20, so that's uh, that's 800 uh, per column. And then we've got, uh, or sorry, we've got 400 per column. I oh, know, sorry, uh, 2800 per column. Uh, 20 times 20. I know 400 per column. Dope. Sorry about that little brain fart. Uh, 400 per column, and then we've got 10 columns wide, uh, less the one fossil that we have here just as a marker to show how many we have in total. Um, and so that's 4,000 total fossils, and we've got 1 million life force, just so we have a nice round hole number here. Uh, it'll make things a little bit more um, demonstrable at the end. Uh, or just easier to translate. So uh, once I start going here, guys, we're, um, you know, I'm going to do the best that I can to not get distracted and whatnot. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy about crafting, trading, etc., is is the freedom it gives you. I, I don't like doing things that are super, super, super high, um, you know, like uh, currency flipping where you're, you have to constantly trade every 
30 seconds or stuff like that. I like to do things where, you know, I batch craft them, I post them, they sell over the next couple of days. You know, your break even is like 50% of your output. So you hit that relatively quickly and then everything else is just profit that kind of passively comes in. This, this method or this approach um, serves me well. And uh, I think, uh, you know, the track record I have over the past uh, decade uh, would demonstrate that to really beyond reproach. But uh, again, uh, skepticism is a good thing. Um, but uh, to, to a certain extent, I think uh, uh, it's important to accept that sometimes people are not always out to get you and uh, there's something to learn. So hopefully this can be helpful um, and perhaps, uh, you know, open up a potential uh, revenue stream for some of you who have not tried this before. And again, I haven't, uh, I haven't actually codified this specifically with any kind of uh, charts or, or anything um, in some time. Uh, so I don't, I don't actually know specifically how this is going to end up. But uh, you can see here, we've got the 4,000 fossils I just mentioned. That cost us 28.5 divines. And the wild life force, um, we bought those at 5,060 to one divine. Uh, and so we spent 197 divs there. Uh, I know somebody already ahead of time is going to say, well, we don't all have 226 divines to spend. I understand. Again, look at the percentage margin that we get at the end. You can do this with one fossil. You don't have to do it with 4,000. Um, it's just because... You know, it it, uh, it removes the um, uh, it removes the potential to uh, you know you don't want to just get super lucky. I reroll five fossils, all of them go to let's say like a, a one divine fossil each. That would be um, you know misrepresenting the the, uh, the reality of, of what this is like. So this is a large enough sample size that it should give a good idea. Um, and again, uh, there's no potential for personal biases here. Another thing, sorry before we start, last point for the YouTube folks. I know I, I can ramble on at times. Uh, it's an important thing to note. Not only am I not stacking the data in my favor here, um, I'm actually, uh, I've actually set this up in a way where it works against us. This is this data that is going to be represented here at the end um, is skewed uh, to a point that it will give us less currency per hour. So the reason for that is that the value that I have put for buying price, so the costs, are stated using bulk prices which is more expensive, as you guys know, playing PoE, when you buy, um, you know, materials that are sold uh, in high quantities, it will be more, um, you know, opposite to how it is typically in real life. Um, however, the sales prices, so the amount that you can sell per divine, I am using the cheapest market price per divine. So what I mean by that is if we take a look here at a frigid fossil, right, you can see here we can buy these for 194 to one div, right? But what I did was I sorted by um, I sorted by stack size and you can see I bought the ones that had the most listed at once to reduce the time it took and this is the value I use. So instead of listing them at 194 to 1, I would have listed it at 100 to 1, right? And so that means that if we decided to buy them or you could even buy them for chaos, right? In which case, you know, you can buy one chaos will buy you two of those, right? So that's actually 480 to 1, right? And so that's obviously going to make this significantly cheaper on the cost side. Um, and then on the sales side, um, I also have it listed uh, in the inverse, right? So if we look at divines, right? Um, the reality is that you could sell them for a hundred to one, right? But the way that we have it listed, um, our sales side price is showing it as 194 to one. So we're getting we're getting double dip kind of screwed here. Uh, a nice little uh, Eiffel Tower of um, gangbangery, um, but uh, it's important to note again. So there's there's the full transparency of this. And it's also skewed against our favor. So uh, the TLDR is doing this is more profitable than the data in this video or spreadsheet will suggest. And again, I will share this uh, sheet to you guys uh, on the YouTube folks in the description below. Um, but do, do keep in, in mind, you can get roughly probably uh, twice as many fossils for the cost that I have listed here, right? So you can knock off probably about 14 to 15 divs of that. Uh, and whatever the sale price is, you could probably add between 30 to 40% uh, for bulk selling. So whatever the total revenue is, is actually going to be understated and the total cost is going to be significantly overstated. Um, and so you know, we're not, not going to, I won't put that in the title. I, I, I promise to put in whatever the profit per hour says here in the title of this video. But for those of you who have watched this preamble, uh, it's important to understand that, again, um, the actual uh, you know reality of the market as it is in the game, um, you will be able to make more than what is put in here. Whew. Drink water. All right. So 
with that being said, Twitch chat, I'm going to hide you guys because I don't want to get distracted. Um, I don't personally like, particularly like playing the game like this, um, you know, where it's it's 100% focus required at all times. That's partially just because, uh, as you, uh, especially YouTube, YouTube folks will know, I, I tend to be, uh, I can tend to go on tangents and sort of ramble on at times. We all have our flaws, uh, <laughs> but uh, I am going to do my best to just sort of say hyper focused here on what we're doing. And um, and we'll have that timer going on the side. I've got that listed up there. Oh. I wish I could put music on on, uh, on YouTube, um, but it'll demonetize it, so we won't do that. All right, so we've got a million life force. And we've got our gems. You know what? Sorry. I want to be fully fair here. I'm. We have this extra life force. I'll put that in my guild stash for right now. Just so it doesn't accidentally pull from it. All right, so there we see. We have got exactly the a million. Put this right there so there's no distraction. We're going to place the Porta Craft Station. Uh, actually, we're going to move this right on top of ourselves. So hopefully that presents. Oh, yeah. There are certain ways to block yourself. What we're going to do, I guess, only the crafting bench is large enough. You can place uh, basically furniture on yourself. There we go. So now I can't move. <laughs> this will make it so um, we don't actually accident accidentally click off when you're trying to, you know, very like very very uh, <laughs> trying to go super neckbeardy, no lifing about things uh, with crafting or, or reforges like this, where your your rate of return is basically completely contingent on uh, how fast you are able to. Uh, uh, to click something, um, having you having it so that you can't accidentally click off screen uh, tends to be a, a, real, a rather good idea. All right. Reach everything. All right. All right, guys. Um, just make sure I've got the sound and everything going. All right, here we go. Let's get it started. Probably should have thought about uh, putting some kind of soundtrack on here. I, I, it is going to be quiet. For the uh, re-rolling part here, actually, you know, normally when I do these sort of long, oops, shoot, sorry, lucid fossils aren't expensive. When I do these long form videos like this, I, I, I tend to make sure it's in live time. 
uh, just so that people can get an actual feeling for you know the, the time it takes. And I, I typically have some kind of commentary to provide. Uh, this is one of these things that, again, there's really, as long as you know which are the more expensive fossils and you can identify those um, you know, relatively quickly by um, site as, I, you know, oh, shoot, as I'm doing right here. Um, you can see I've already rolled over <laughs> two of the ones I wanted to keep while I'm talking. Um, as long as you've got to identify them by site, there, there's absolutely no, uh, you know, skill or nuance to this. It's just a matter of being able to, uh, to click and identify quickly. Um, so with that in mind, I might, uh, um, I, like, a, again, I really don't know how to edit at all, but, um, I'm sure I could probably figure out how to run a video in double or triple time just so that this, um, you know, we'll see how long it ends up taking, but. We can perhaps, uh, oh geez, it looks perfect fossils. Jesus. Perhaps make the YouTube video experience. Oh, shit! Yeah, I gotta be quiet. Feathering fossils are expensive. We just rolled over a divine. All right, no more talking from me, guys, until we're uh, we're done here. Uh, just so I don't um, again, because the, the the data actually does suffer if I make any kind of uh, mistakes or if I get distracted or, or trade or you know whatever it is. Um, apart from uh, you know my sort of self righteous uh, <laughs> sort of sanctimonious speech uh, or preamble there, um, this is you know good information to have in general as well. Uh, just from a pure data perspective who sanctified so we want to make sure it is uh as fair and uh, as accurate as possible and uh there's no there's no way to account for player error when analyzing uh a, a, a data set objectively so it's every person's propensity for that will be different We do have it end up having life force over at the end. I uh, will just subtract that from the cost.
I'm just looking at, I was looking at the chart on the side of my eye there, and I noticed that the, uh, the loosened fossils, normally they're, um, you know, anything that's on the second row or below, uh, is significantly cheaper than the ones in the top row. Uh, it, uh, it is the case on the market at this exact second, though, that the loosened fossils, uh, are actually the exact same ratio that we purchased everything else at, so.
Trying to get, you know when you roll alterations? Ooh, glyphic. Um, when you roll alts for a long time, uh, and you're going for like merciless or like plus one, and you just get so used to doing something, you kind of like, you roll over whatever it was that you're looking for, because you're not blinking as much as you probably should. We're going to get kinder to that point. I was just checking there was the uh, ratio of the dense fossil. It's actually 100 to 1 right now. As I mentioned, I put, if you look at the material cost that I have on it, all of them just say 140 to 1. Um, because as I mentioned, it doesn't actually matter which one you buy. Um, you just want to get in as great, like the cheapest one in, in as great of quantity as possible. So 140 to 1 was the ratio that I paid for them. Um, but it, it's not necessarily reflective of uh what the uh uh cost might be on some of them because the, the as you can probably tell by watching here the uh the ones that are on the top row roll significantly more common like they're obviously far more common um than the second row and then second or more common than the third etc um but with how common the uh the the dense fossils are uh, it might like it i wouldn't say that i wouldn't buy at 140 to one and do this but i would consider buying at chaos values so you, where you can buy them for one to one or even get two fossils for one chaos in some cases uh and then sell those into divines because 100 to 1 on those is not bad. Uh, yeah. Right? Like, if you can get 2 to 1 Scorch Fossil. Uh, like, on the buy side, if you can get 2 to 1, right? Uh, that means for 1 Divine, you can get 480 Fossils. Uh, which means if you're selling them, if you just turn those into dents, which is obviously... Naturally, you would keep the ones that roll better than dense. Uh, that kind of goes without saying. But if you did hit dense, stopping there and selling those two, um, you know, you'd be, you'd be making four point eight, like four hundred and eighty percent on your investment. In fact, you wouldn't even have to. You wouldn't even have to uh, reforge them or re, you know reroll them. You buy them in chaos and sell them in div.
Punch. Okay. 21 minutes. Let's see. So, first thing we're going to want to do, let's see what our life force total is. Uh, 4, 452,800. Oh, sorry, what was it? Let's be exact here. 800 and what? 30. Okay. And now let's go. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, the deft. Let's get the order that they're written in. And then we'll uh, pull up one of those. So bound. Okay. There's number one. Corroded. Perfect. Prismatic. Left. There. Lucent. I forgot we instead of grill over those. Serrated. Shuttering. Tangled, how oh, we got zero tangled. Bloodstained. Got zero bloodstained. Gilded. And fundamental. Sanctify. Hollow, nope, fractured, nope, prolific, and I don't think we're going to be faceted either. Nope, okay. So, let's enter the data now. So, bound fossils, we got 599, corroded fossils, 340. You can see here that the, the data on the bottom is automatically updating. We can, uh, can actually fill it out right here, I think. On this one, so it's more visible. Oh no, sorry. You guys won't be able to see it. All right, so we're going to do it like that. Sorry, guys. The uh, streaming started. Streaming is not my, uh, my forte. All right, Groded, 340. Uh, perfect Fossils, 360. Prismatic Fossils, 421. Deft Fossils. 440. We got message for gems.
But yeah, to the people who are like, I mean, again, I, I feel like somewhat of it is just trying to be a contrarian. But for those of you who are legitimately curious about the liquidity of these, again, that took us 20 minutes and we got message one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times. And so that's two, every two and a half minutes, someone messages us to buy a gem. Oops. I don't know why I reallocated currency. Okay. So which one are we on to? Death fossils. 440. On a third. Uh, Lucents. Oh yeah, we got rid of those. Rated four eighty one. Three twenty on the shuttering. Twenty on the gilded. Five hundred and twenty on the fundamentals. All right, and then it took us twenty one. Minutes and 45 seconds, so I was oh, sorry. Uh, that's three quarters, 0. 0.75. All right, and now for our grand reveal, gentlemen. What does the math say? 68 divines per hour in profit. There you go, gentlemen. Uh, Boys of YouTube, again, I would like to point out uh, that these values, every single one of these values is actually higher than it is. In particular, these ones, you know, 600, 340, any one of these ones, we can sell a bulk price. Uh, for example, Death Fossils, I know you can quite easily sell at 12, right? And I mean, just simply changing that to 12, boom, seven divs more, right? Uh, bound Fossils, uh, what's another one that I know sells very well? The Shutterings. Um, I know you can get those for 11. Boom, 100 divs. Uh, Oop, faceted fo or, uh, glyphic fossils. I just sold a bunch of these for uh, 7 divs to 10. So uh, there's another 2 there. Uh, fundamental fossils, we're going to get 25 on those. 110. But you see how quickly that value changes, right? And then not to mention, that, uh, as I said, you can get these for, um, uh, you know, 400. Uh, if you were to buy them by Chaos, you can get them for 480 uh you know 480 to one <laughs> divine um and if you do that again that that reduces your cost here by uh you know uh you drop in there 15 divs 125 divine profit per hour right um now the reason why I, i'm not as i mentioned at the start of this video i'm not going to alter the data at all the reason why i am using the uh the bulk price for the buy side and the sale price for um sorry the individual so the, the the best possible market price for the sales side is because in order to purchase these right this is all we did so i could see somebody in twitch chat right now is asking me how long did it take me to buy them and the answer is less than five minutes right so all i did was go here right we took all of our top row ones so you come here i'll just demonstrate this quickly sort by chaos and divine and you're going to check one two three four five um in fact, sorry, we, we added Lucent, so you can put that in there too. Right, and then you sort by stack size. Look at this. 
1200 payout, 1240 payouts. So, you know, doing this live will probably put some of this to bed anyways. So again, our grand total was, uh, we bought 4,000 fossils, right? And 60, 214. I'd like to point out right here as well, as I just mentioned, if you buy things by chaos, we just paid, um, well, how many did we get there? We paid, uh, nine divs and we got, uh, 1200. Yeah. Same, actually about the same ratio, 133 to one. Uh, but you see how quick that was though right only took a couple like that took what maybe a minute and a half two minutes uh you can see these people have like this guy's got two thousand of them right uh this guy's got 1600 uh keep in mind i did just buy all of these oh, oh here 170 to one right we can look at these ratios too one set like, there they're 170 to one that's better than what I mentioned. 160 to one, better than what I mentioned. Uh, it, what's important here for the people watching on Twitch and the people who are going to see this on YouTube, um, really, how long you decide to spend buying these is up to you, right? I, I I'm putting in like I, I'm messaging people to buy from them at the moment, right? Um, that tends to favor the seller, right? I could put up a buy order, so I could just be working on something else, right? So like. Let's say you wanted to do the gems that I posted in the video yesterday versus wanting to do uh, the fossils right now, right? It's like while I am, you know, assembling the gems, buying those, running them in temples, whatever, I can put up a buy order for um, for fossils, right? And I could put that at 200 to 1, right? right? And then it's not like I'm actively having to spend much time in between, let's say, each temple. I come back and I pick up 400 fossils for two divs, takes two seconds. And then I've got 4,000 waiting and I've got a much better ratio that favors me, right? And then uh, once I have whatever arbitrary amount I decide I want to go on and we've got it in a batch craft like I just did there, like we just re-rolled 4,000 of them in 20 minutes, right? And our, our profit per hour from such was 68 divs. And that was, again, with every bit of unfavorable waiting that we could put those. The reality of that situation is that, um, and again, I can post this information. I'm not actually going to sell it at that price. But as promised, I will make the YouTube video. Uh, it's too bad it's 68, not 69 divs an hour. I will make the title of the YouTube video 68 divs an hour so that you've, you know, um, <laughs> the, uh, the evangelical, uh, you're a clickbaiter crowd, doesn't have a, a conniption. Um, but, you know, as I pointed out there, when we adjust the values to represent what they are on a bulk scale, um, it goes up 100, 110, 120 divs. Um, and this is not like, I, I'd like to, you know, it's important to keep perspective on things as well. Um, I know that, you know, perhaps I make some flashy videos talking about mirrors and stuff like this all the time. Uh, and maybe some of you people watching on YouTube or Twitch just don't like me as an individual. I would like to point out that like a baseline for what people typically look for in map farming is what, like maybe 10 or uh, if you're really good, 20 divs an hour would be considered crazy. Um, I, I can't tell you how like mind blowing it was to me last night when people are like, oh, this is actually only 97 divines an hour if you don't include corruptions or it's actually only 124 divines an hour. And um, 
you know, I'd like to point out that for many of you, maybe not the ones making these comments, but I know for many people who are watching these videos, that's more currency than they've ever made in their entire life playing PoE. So perhaps adapt some perspective. Um, and hopefully, again, this video uh, can demonstrate to you that, um, you know, there's no editorial bias going on here. I'm not trying to pick your pockets. I'm going to be posting this video the second uh, I, I stop uh, recording here. Um, and I will be uh, sharing it to YouTube. So, um, you know, there's no financial incentive for me, right? Like, I'm assuming some of you guys are going to start doing this. The values on these are going to go down. I'm going to make less money. Um, but my point is that, uh, you know... I, I'm not working against you here, boys. Um, and uh, it's really not that hard to make currency if you can expand your mind a little bit. Be It's good to be skeptical. As I've mentioned before, I have no problem with people being skeptical. Um, but uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, once you've qualified the information you're getting and, you know, you, you can make, you know, support it with data, in particular empirical evidence, you know, consider the source. I think something like this is beyond reproach and um, hopefully, uh, you know, if you're not going to do this exactly, it just opens your mind a little bit to the fact that, um, you know, there are potential ways that you can make this much money without having to take advantage of people or fudge numbers or be clickbait or, you know, farm it in ideal situations. Um, these are things, they're fossils. This is a uh, crafting currency. These are bought in bulk and they will sell within probably a couple hours, right? This is not difficult stuff to buy. Um, or sorry, difficult stuff to sell. Uh, and one of the common things, yeah, it'll take you three weeks. This will sell probably in the next two hours. All right, guys. So YouTube folks, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll put it, I'll probably put some timestamps in this video because I know it kind of rambled on at the beginning at the end of it. Um, but there you go, guys. Th uh, 68.31 divines profit per hour. Irrefutable, unquestionable. And in reality, it's much higher. Belton, uh, back with another one. Uh, until next time, gentlemen. Uh, you know what? We're going to search this up because it is a tradition. That currency return? Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. You know what it is. Thick boy crafting crew. Mirror gang. Belting out. Peace, lads. Till next time.